guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna to start off by planting some things out in the cut flower garden, both seeds and plants. We might even fill up the rest of the space that's out there that's left, there's not a lot. I do have a couple of containers we're gonna move out to the cut flower shed and we might plant those. Benjamin's out here somewhere. <laughs> he wanted to help me plant some bean seeds. So we're gonna probably start with that. Benjamin, do you have all your tools? Mm -hmm. Very good. I've got tool and I've got tool. Very nice. We need to run to the greenhouse and grab the squash and cucumber plants. I forgot those. We were at the garden center yesterday and I was walking through the greenhouse and came across the uh, cucumber and squash plants, which I typically don't start them from plants. I usually start them from seed, but they happen to have Su Yao Long cucumber plants, which is one of my favorite varieties. And then I just decided those are the last two vine crops I'm probably going to plant. And I did all of my pumpkins from seed, so I may as well just pick up a couple of plants and put them in the ground today and they look really good. Hey, I got the plants. Let's head out. It's been a beautiful day. Uh, we woke up to rain. We had rain a good portion of the day yesterday and then it's supposed to rain on and off today. So it's going to probably get really overcast and then a little bit bright. The sun does pop through every once in a while, uh, but it almost feels coastal. It smells coastal. It's awesome. What are you going to do with that sword? <laughs> Well, I was thinking we would plant the cucumbers maybe right over here. And then we could plant, um, hmm, let's find some spots. Look at this, you guys, zinnias are already starting to pop. Exciting. We've got a little space in this area. So in this whole spot right here, the only space we have left is from the peppers to the rhubarb. So I think I'll pop both cucumber plants right in here and that'll be perfect. And I was just noticing that the first few dahlias are starting to push through the soil. Look at that. Oh, a couple of real big ones. Look at this one. That one is terracotta. Of course it is. Terracotta is one of the most productive varieties I grow. Gotta come through and do some weeding though. I've noticed a bunch of weeds starting to pop through. All right, dude. I think we're gonna plant the cucumbers right over here. So the Suya Longs, they're just a really meaty cucumber. They don't have like a real squishy, you know, big seed core in the center. They just are really firm and wonderful. I think we'll put one of them right here. One of them right here. That's just it. That's it. And I'll cover it by myself, okay? Okay. Okay, make sure to tamp it in. Tamp that soil in around with your fingers like this. And make sure you eliminate any air pockets around the root ball. Air pockets? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got the two cucumbers in right here. And we'll just kind of scoot the vines as they grow and keep them in a way... <laughs> I think, to where we can walk through. I did have melons over here in one of the rows uh, last year and it worked out just fine. And then on this side, we have the two butternut squash plants. We've got Feverfew right here, White Mignonette, the strawberry row right beyond that. And then you can see the spots I haven't planted yet. They have not been top dressed with land and sea compost. Everywhere that's been planted has been top dressed. It's been kind of a nice visual reminder to me of the space that we have left in this area. So after today, like we can top dress this whole row once we get the beans planted. Uh, and then I do have like uh, Cosmos and some other things to put in the ground possibly today. So it's possible this whole area will be filled up. We need to go get my garden hoe though, Benjamin. I forgot it in the barn. So we'll drop off the pots right at the flower shed. I'm thinking at the corners just to kind of mirror these two because I really like these honeyberry pots right here and they're looking even more full of fruit since the last time I showed you. So I gotta show you again. Do you see all of this? Look at all of these honeyberries. Like it's just wild. The difference between last year, which was their first year in these containers and this year. 
They are just loaded up. Still very tart, though. I need to give them some time on the plant. Dang. Oh. Can I try? Sure. Okay, got my hoe. This is what I use to make little trenches in the soil for all my seeds. And you can see right over here, I've got a big pile of seeds. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and get everything planted. Seed starting all kind of looks the same. So we'll do a walkthrough tour in the end and I'll show you everything that went in. You about ready to plant beans? Hey mama. Yeah. Does some of the trees need water? Uh, no, cause it rained. Well, I see some dry spots. Yeah, but underneath the soil, so use your shovel and look underneath the soil surface and you'll see some moisture in there. You'll see that the soil's a lot darker. Why don't you go check on it? Can you draw a bean on that? Here? No, on the tag, so we know we're gonna plant these. So do you wanna make a tag for these? You can turn it over. You have to write the dollars how many money this is? No, you're writing what kind of bean it is. It's a dragon's tongue bean. Can you write that? Well, or I'm draw a bean? Well, i money and a bean, okay? Okay. This is cost one, two money. What did I call? Beans. Beans. Done. Nice. Okay. Okay, why don't you come over here and then I'll pour these seeds out into your, your hand. Okay. Oh, look, it came with the tag. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do this. Put a line in there? Nope, we'll put one here, just one. here and one there, yes, correct. get run out of here. I think it's going to start to rain here in just a second. Mama? Yeah. It's heard some thunder. I heard thunder too. Whew. I got most of the area filled up, so let's walk through quick before whatever weather that's coming our way arrives, uh, and then I'll probably top dress with linen C a little bit later. Okay, so row of zinnias here, 
And then today we planted salmon moose nasturtiums. That's the first section. Then Bloody Mary nasturtiums. And those go about a quarter of an inch deep and spaced, I space mine roughly a foot apart. And then we've got chocolate flower right here, which are yellow flowers that have the smell of chocolate. Benjamin, we're gr growing flowers that smell like chocolate. They'll be right here. Yeah. Oh. Then balsam peppermint stick. And then the rest of this row are Pacific Giants delphiniums, then the fever few, and then I think I've got an empty section. Oh no, this is where I planted the really yucky looking celosia earlier, most of it. I don't think most of it survived. So I do have Cosmos coming up, the little green, that's all Cosmos, so I think I'll just leave them. Next row, we have the Dragon's Tongue Bush Beans, which are a new variety to me. They only come 15 seeds per packet, so it'll be a good experiment. And then the rest of this up to the Butternut Squash are Jade Beans. And this is our second crop of Jade Beans, of Bush Beans for the year. We did start some earlier in the greenhouse, which have produced beautifully, but the plants are starting to peter out just a little bit. So it'll be nice to have a fresh crop out here. And then we can still plant another crop really all the way up through about mid to late July. We can plant beans and be harvesting them through the fall. We plant those seeds about a half inch deep and uh, about six inch spacing or so. The thing I love about jade beans is that they're incredibly, well, heavy producers, did I just say that? Heavy producers, uh, very reliable plants here, and they produce nice straight beans that are stringless and really tender. They're just, they're great. They also preserve really well too. Okay, and then the butternut squash and the white mignonette. And then this row is all strawberries. And then in this other row, this is the last one we planted in today. This crop of carrots is actually from last July and I'm letting it go to seed. I might use some of the flowers for cutting, but I also wanna gather some of the seeds off of them. And we have been picking them. I mean, we picked here and I've been kind of selectively, I don't know why, but just kind of picked right out of the middle there. Uh, but the rest here, let's see, I didn't have enough seeds to make it all the way to the carrots, so that's where I stopped. But we gotta go to the other end of the row. I faced all my tags the opposite direction. <laughs> so I did plant these from shortest to tallest variety. I organized them that way. I don't even know, like I didn't really pay attention to the colors I was putting next to each other, not that it really matters out here. But you will notice some plants coming up in here. I had celosia in this area last year and I'm just gonna let them go. They can grow in with the cosmos. I totally don't even care. Because of the celosia that I started from seed totally fried, this is really gonna be my only celosia we have out here, which is fine by me. First off, we have xanthos, which is one of my favorite varieties. Pale yellow flowers, really fine feathery foliage, just a beautiful plant. Apricot lemonade is next. Then rosetta, sweet 16, fizzy white, which I had the most seeds of that one right there. These get quite tall. Then double click rose bonbon right there. Then candy stripe, double click snow puff, and afternoon white. So those, like I said, go down to about where I roughed up the, the uh, wood chips right there. And then once we harvest all these carrots, which won't be long, we'll plant something new in this space. Potatoes are all looking really good. Look at that and it is starting to rain. I don't think it's gonna last too long, but we'll probably go put the gator under cover and we'll come back out after the rain has stopped a little bit. Well, I got some organizing done in the barn. That needs to be done as well as things needing to be planted out here. Uh, the rain has stopped for now, but it's very much so looking like it's going to start back in here fairly soon. It's dark this way and it's also, I don't know if you can see through there, it is dark that way as well, which I don't mind one single bit, but I do think I'm gonna skip the land and sea compost step today because I don't want to drag out a bunch of bags and then have the rain come back through. So I'm going to maybe plant up those pots we just placed by the flower shed and plant some calendula in that new little area we just finished in the cut flower garden. Here's cheddar. I love the Lady Godiva calendulas. Lady Godiva yellow, Lady Godiva orange. I always kind of go toward the yellow because it's such a bright cheerful color and I thought that this would look really cute in that area near our brick kind of raised bed area out there. I'll show you in a second. I also got the drip ready for the two terracotta pots that we just brought out there. I don't have anything to connect it to yet uh, because we don't have the irrigation done to that spot yet, but at least I'll have it in the pots ready to go when that happens. So we'll feed that through the bottom of the pots today. You can see I have a bunch of plants still behind me. We still have some planting to do at the college and at a few other places around town, but I'm going to gather up enough stuff to do the two pots out there. <music>
my goodness, you guys. Trisha's been here working on the flower shed. <laughs> uh, but look at the sky. Oh my word, and just lightning and thunder. I don't know, I tried to set up the camera to maybe catch some of the lightning, but I'm not sure that I did. But it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's moving fast. I don't think I'm gonna get my calendulas planted. But let's take a look at these pots because I think they turned out so cute. So these are Lakota Fire Echinacea right here, which, you know, when they come out, they are bright red. I know you're probably surprised to see that, but out here in the cut flower garden, I plant all kinds of different colors. So it really is a good space to try out some different arrangements using colors that I don't normally use up closer to the house. Plus, when I look at this, like I do see the red, I see some orange. I also see a little bit of yellow in there and they age pink. So they kind of have both warm and cool colors going on. They're a really neat plant. Now I did use three in each one of these. I really wanted it to be a uh, nice big impact centerpiece. And the best part, I can use these in the landscape after we're done with them in these containers. And then I surrounded them with some helichrysum icicles right here because I love the blue color in with this deeper like reds and pinks. Supertunia uh, Royal Velvet here. And then this is an upside an ipomia called upside something upside key lime this is a new one for next year and it's got the trailing habit but also a climbing habit so you can plant it on a fence or a trellis or something like that and it's got a really bright color which i love and then you can see this one right here which i need to kind of clean it off and i spilled some soil these will look a heck of a lot better once we've got you know stuff picked up and i've got a nice layer of either mulch or something down in this spot make it look tidier oh this is just the weirdest sky you guys Oh, I just saw lightning. I'm heading back to the barn right now and then into the house. I feel like we just were standing in the calm and it's starting, the breeze is starting to pick up now. I think I'm gonna be done for the day. I don't think I'm gonna be getting anything else done out here. I am happy that we were able to get so many seeds planted though. I mean, they're getting watered in really well and we're almost done out there. There's little pockets here and there that we have to fill, but I have some seedlings still left out in the greenhouse that I'd like to plant out there. So whenever we plant them, we'll be fine. It's been such a weird, uh, cool year that I'm loving um, that it's really made everything feel not in a hurry, uh, which is so, so nice. And I'm really happy with how those containers turned out as well. I think those are gonna be really fun. I'll try to get some better pictures once we have it a little bit more tidy out there and, and complete. It's so close to being done. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have absolutely no idea how it's gonna turn out. It feels like a little bit of a mess, but just because we were in and out and I was doing all kinds of different things in between rainstorms. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.